फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई वर्क प्लेस एट रानाघाट वेस्ट बेंगाल इंडिया दिस इज एन इंटरमेशन कैट्रैक्ट वी कैन सी फ्लूड कलेक्शन इन साइड द लेंस वी नो दैट इन इंटरमेशन कैट्रैक्ट द इंट्रा लेंटिकुलर प्रेशर इज हाई एंड वोइंग टू दिस हाई इंट्रा लेंटिकुलर प्रेशर द मोस्ट एंशियस स्टेप ऑफ दिस सर्जरी इज capsulorexis let us observe this surgery this is a very slow surgery to demonstrate all the steps very clearly this is the main incision this is a side port on the right side of the main incision 3 clock hours away and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision about same distance away and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber beneath this air bubble trypan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule see how it is apply the dye very slowly and take care that the dye should touch on all parts of the capsule like in this case the capsule in the lower part was not stained so i went through the right side port now i am going through the main incision again and staining the upper part of the capsule uniform staining should occur and then we can wash the dye out with bss and now which visco we should use I use hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and I don't use sodium hyaluronate but I am not against sodium hyaluronate if you find the surgery easy with sodium hyaluronate definitely you can use that this is ispmc a lot of ispmc has been injected the capsule is little flat at the central part and now a very small c flap has been made and a uterator forceps is being used to convert this c into a small rexis we can call this small rexis a mini rexis the idea is to aspirate some cortex through this small opening so that the intra lenticular pressure reduces and now watch how to aspirate the cortex first hydrate the cortex and try to rotate the nucleus so that cortex of all 360 degree gets hydrated and now little depression of the capsule at one side and what happens is the cortex from behind comes along the equator and a lot of cortex get aspirated even if you don't aspirate if you just hydrate keep hydrating with the irrigating probe or by manual irrigation aspiration this cortex will come out through this opening and since this is a rexis it can resist some some stress but we should not apply stress on the margin of this minirexis with lot of stress this minirexis also can get torn and now a lot of visco is injected the anterior capsule becomes almost flat now because the intralenticular pressure has reduced now i take a vana scissor make a small cut at the margin of this minirexis at round 
eight o'clock or seven o'clock. Now I use iterator again and enlarge the mini rexes into an optimum size rexes in this way. And this is a nice 5.5 millimeter rexis or 5.25 millimeter rexis. And we can see that the nucleus is not very soft in this case. Nuclear sclerosis is about grade 4. So the ultrasonic power has been increased to about 70%. Flow rate is 45 and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury and with this setting I am going in. The machine is Oatly Catarx 3. Now here it is. The machine goes in, the handpiece goes in, bevel down, some superficial cortical matter is removed and now I am going to divide the nucleus by direct chop. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the nucleus for a distance and then the chopper is used to make a nice crack. Rotate it 180 degree hold it at another place and the nucleus has divided into completely into two heminuclei. Now this heminuclei has been divided into three fragments. Now I come to the other heminuclei. This is actually a small fragment and divide it into two pieces. So the nucleus has been divided into five separate fragments. They are free. So I start emulsifying each nuclear fragment one by one and this is the fourth fragment and this is the last one. At this time we have to see that the antechamber stability is much more. There is no surge and if there is no surge we can complete the case in the same setting. If there is a little bit of surge, we can decrease the parameters. We can decrease the vacuum to even 200 millimeter of mercury, flow rate about 30 and complete the last piece. Complete emulsification of the last nuclear piece. And now, This is cortical aspiration from inferior aspect and by this time the bimanual irrigation aspiration is ready. So I am going to use the bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of cortex from the upper part. Yes, from this subincisional cortex. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. The patient could not afford a hydrophobic intraocular lens, so we are implanting a hydrophilic acrylic monofocal intraocular lens. And this is hydro implantation of the lens. Whatever visco is there in the lumen of the cartis can be applied over the cornea. And now irrigation keeps the antechamber formed. And the lens goes into the capsular bag. Yes, the lens has gone into the capsular bag. And now I am using the irrigating probe to irrigate the anterior chamber 
and what if a visco was there and the lumen of the cartis is coming out and now this is a bit of moxie a bit of moxie fluxacin and this is BSS to hydrate corneal stroma on either side of the paracentesis wounds so that these stab incisions get closed and now a final lavage of the anterior chamber a final lavage of the anterior chamber decreases the incidence of TAS to a great extent and we can see that the optic of the intraocular lens is covered by anterior capsular rim all around so the size of the rexis is ideal about 5.5 or 5.25 millimeter and now the anterior chamber is formed nicely and then the integrity of the wounds are checked with cotton taped Johnson bard few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills please do not get afraid of an intermittent cataract after watching this video if you don't have sodium hyaluronate or if you are practicing in an area where the socioeconomic condition of your patients is not good you can very well manage with SPMC a very economic visco in India be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence